Post trip moment number 18. Here we go again. Let's hear some more lies. So where does the rapture occur in the book of Revelation? Well, if you ask those who believe in a pre-trib rapture, they'll tell you that the rapture occurs in Revelation 4.1. Let me read it for you. The Bible reads, After this I looked, and behold, a door was opened in heaven, and the first voice which I heard was as it were of a trumpet talking with me, which said, Come up hither, and I will show thee things which must be hereafter. Now, those who believe in the pre-trib rapture, they claim to interpret the Bible literally. Uh, excuse me. Um, there's a lot about the Bible that's figurative. Okay? I don't interpret the whole Bible literally. And I don't interpret the whole Bible figuratively. Again, liar. But yet, they take a verse that's about one man being caught up to heaven to be shown the events of the book of Revelation. They, they say that's the rapture of every believer. Now, that's not a literal interpretation at all. They say... Well, but John symbolizes the church there. Well, uh, let me just let me just stop because he won't give you the scriptures on this. Okay, um, I'm not sure the exact reference, so I'll have to look it up here. Disciple whom Jesus loved. Okay, John chapter 21 verse 7. There are actually these different references here. Four different references and look at the book that they're all in John okay John is the disciple whom Jesus loved now doesn't the Bible say about how Christ loved us loved the church and gave himself for it okay so there's an obvious John being the type of the church here in Revelation chapter 4 verse 1 John is called up to heaven symbolizing the church okay it's figurative there all right in in type in other words it's figurative now john was literally called up but it's figurative now watch the other lie he comes out with here well here's the problem with that they forgot to read verse two the bible says in verse two and immediately i was in the spirit and behold a throne was set in heaven and one sat on their throne right there john makes it clear that he was not bodily caught up into heaven in Revelation 4.1. He was caught up in spirit. He did not even physically go to heaven. <laughs> he thinks he won here. He thinks, I got a good point. Oh, really? Well, if you had enough brains, you could see that you didn't have a point. But he doesn't have enough brains. Look, we have here, Acts chapter 18, verse 5. Paul was pressed in the spirit. 18, verse 25. Being fervent in the Spirit, he spake and taught diligently the things of the Lord, knowing only the baptism of John. Okay? Being fervent in the Spirit. Paul purposed in the Spirit when he passed through Macedonia and Achaia. Also, I guess Paul was just in the Spirit. It wasn't really physically. This little jerk right here, this little nut, doesn't know the Bible. He doesn't compare Scripture with Scripture. In the Spirit means that you are there. Okay? I mean, it's just so incredible. In the Spirit means that the Holy Spirit is in you. <laughs> Learn the Bible. He was only caught up in spirit. And <laughs> so this has nothing to do with the rapture because the rapture is a bodily resurrection. The Bible says, The dead in Christ shall rise first. Then we which are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air. The Bible says we shall not all sleep, but we shall all be changed in a moment in a twinkling of an eye. At the last trump, the dead shall be raised incorruptible. Look, it's a bodily resurrection of the dead in Christ, and it's a physical changing of our bodies in a moment in a twinkling of an eye. Okay, and where are these uh, cross-references to the second coming passages in the Gospels? He'll never cover that. Well, maybe he will in one of these other stupid post-trib moments. You know, we'll cover that when we get there. The resurrection or the rapture is a bodily occurrence. It's not some kind of a spiritual rapture. We're not going to be raptured spiritually. We're going to be raptured bodily. Yeah, it, it doesn't say that. He was in the spirit just like all the other guys were there. Apollos is the name I was trying to think of there in Acts chapter 18. You know? I mean, it's, it's incredible that this guy is so ignorant of scripture. The, the dead in Christ will be caught up bodily. And Revelation 4.1 is talking about being in the spirit. This can't be talking about the rapture. Oh, it's yes, it can. Down. 
It's being caught up in the spirit. And not only that, no trumpet sounds in this verse. He said he heard a voice. Now remember what I told you in the other video? That the trump sounds, the voice which I heard was as it were of a trumpet talking with me. Jesus said in John chapter 10, My sheep hear my voice, and I call them by name. And the two passages there, 1 Corinthians 15 and 1 Thessalonians chapter 4, both places there is a trump mentioned. Now what this little liar does is he says, There's, there's no trumpet, so it can't be the rapture. No, there's a trump sounds, a voice. See, he's just tr tripping all over himself. Let's continue as it were of a trumpet. He's saying as if it were a trumpet. What he means by that is a loud voice. He heard a voice that sounded like a trumpet. But at the, at the rapture, it won't be a voice that sounds like it a, trum a trumpet. It'll be yes, it will. I just gave you the references there. John chapter 10. My sheep hear my voice, and I call them by name and lead them out. You say, I don't believe you. Okay, I was hoping you'd say that. John chapter 10. Okay, verse 3. The sheep hear his voice, and he calleth his own sheep by name, and leadeth them out. Jesus Christ is the door. You go on, you read the whole thing here. Alright? This guy doesn't have a clue what the Bible teaches. Be a trumpet. Not a voice that sounds like a trumpet, but a real trumpet. And so Revelation 4.1 is not the rapture at all. Yes, it is. And, well, let's continue on here. We'll go on to the next lie.